sound check. Mercedes showroom in the 1950s. Let's get that 300 SL out in the room. Hello world and welcome back to Accelerate and welcome to a very special place. Yes, that's right, you join me here at the Hemmels Production Facility in South Wales and today we're going to take a look at some phenomenal classic Mercedes and I want to talk you through the Hemmels process. Now Hemmels specialise in the Mercedes SL, more specifically the 190 SL, 230, 250 and 280 SL and even the iconic 300 SL or for car nerds like me the W121 chassis, the W113 and the W198. Hemmel's vision is simple. Picture yourself walking into a Mercedes showroom in the 1950s and personally specking your own 190SL, 280SL or even a 300SL. That's right, the Hemmel's experience allows you to personally choose your exterior colour, interior colour and even optional extras better than when it came from the factory. Oh, any excuse to sit in one of these? These cars were manufactured in the 50s, 60s so optional extras were very limited but once again thanks to Hemmels and their development team they can now offer modern upgrades such as air conditioning, USB charge ports, Bluetooth adaptable entertainment, uh, even with built-in sat-nav, but retaining the look of the classic stereo that comes with them. They even offer modern drivability upgrades, such as electronic fuel injection, as opposed to man mechanical fuel injection, electronic throttle bodies, more modern wiring looms, and so on. We're gonna take a trip through the process to see what is involved in getting a barn find Mercedes through to a show-stopping classic thanks to Hemmel's Nürburgring process, I think I'm pronouncing that right, which demands the stripping of every car, cataloging of every item, fully restoring each item, and then hand fitting them to the car to a better than new standard. Just for you guys, we have managed to get a test drive in one of these beautiful works of art. So we're gonna get it out on the road and even see how they drive to fully engulf in the Hemmel's experience. Let's begin. When Hemmel's receive a car, the first step of the process is to strip the car of every component and catalogue each item. Every part is then meticulously restored or renewed, ready for refitting. The shell is then graced with all new metalwork and prepared for paint. Just look at the results. During this time, the Hemmel's dedicated engine team are building the glorious heart that power these machines. Once the lengthy paint procedure is completed, it's on to the build-up. The technicians work to get all of the suspension, engine, running gear and electronics up and running. Next up, trim. The skill that the Hemmel's trim team possess is second to none and results in nothing less than perfection. Each item of the interior is trimmed and fitted by hand and always manages to leave me speechless. With all of these vital teams pulling together and working tirelessly, the end result speaks for itself. Wouldn't you agree? It is that time. It's time to get one of these beautiful works of art out on the road. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on the W113 chassis, more specifically the 280SL. So the 280SL has a 2.8 straight six. From the factory, they reckon around 160 to 170 brake back then. Uh, take that as you will. 
This one is a right-hand drive and automatic. Unfortunately, in this, it has got Hemel's aircon option. Whether we'll benefit from it or not, I do not know, because we're gonna have the roof off. So, if we can get enough interest from you guys for this car, we are hoping and praying that we can get a ride in either the 190 SL or even the 300 SL. We're gonna try our best for you guys to try and get a video full feature and a ride along in a 300 SL. So drop us a like, comment, give us all the support you can and we'll see what we can do for you. But I think it's about time we got out on the road. Right, the, um, the eagle-eyed among you will, uh, will notice I'm in the driver's seat. You get bad days, you get good days, and you get days that you never thought would happen. Um, yes, I've been given the opportunity to drive one of these amazing 280 SLs. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm just gonna stay on the industrial estate because I haven't got the guts to take it any further. But <laughs> in a roundabout way, this might sound cheesy, but this is what Hemels are all about, making dreams come true and I cannot thank them enough for the opportunity. The management team here, absolutely brilliant. <sighs> but let's, uh, let's, let's see what this is all about. So first impressions, uh, even the seats, the seats are such a weird feeling. Uh, very flat, but quite supportive on the rear, surprisingly comfortable. Uh, the cabin is very open and I chose this car specifically. Again, thanks to the management team, they gave me the choice of which car I wanted to take. Chose this one purely because of the color combination and oh, what a beauty it is. I mean, the finish that Hemel's give is absolutely unrivaled. Everywhere you look, it's either top quality leather, you've got the chrome glistening at you. So oh, let's just, let's get out on the road. Handbrake off all the way down there. Very weird location on these. Um, wow, I mean, what I'm feeling, these thin, old school steering wheels. This is probably the first classic car I've ever driven and what a first car it's gonna be. Uh, <laughs> basically shaking. I don't know whether it's nerves, whether it's happiness or a combination of all of them. But let's, uh, let's, let's see if we can get this thing out. Wow, the steering feels lovely. And this thin steering wheel, wow. <laughs> And we're off. Wow. Such a smooth ride. Um, like I said, I've... Now, I actually work for Hemel's, so seeing these cars day in, day out, uh, but I only ever see sort of the parts side of it. I see them in bits. Never do we get the opportunity uh, to actually go in one, let alone drive one. So, once again, I, I just want to give a massive shout out to the Hemel's management team for allowing me to do this, not only let us do a review on it, a full, uh, full in-depth review, but we're also, they're also letting us drive it. And we are gonna get out on the open road with Ben. We're gonna find some beautiful roads for you guys. But I have to say, I have never felt cooler and I never wanna get out of this thing. And already I understand why they've got such a cult following. Let's see if we can get up a bit of speed, but uh, <laughs> Wow, what a feeling. You'll have to excuse, uh, we've chosen literally the hottest day of the year to do this, so I, I apologize, and the nerves, excitement, everything could probably get into me, so I'm gonna apologize straight away. But uh, I don't think anything can ruin this day. So, uh, tell you what, let's go back, pick Ben up, and we'll get out on the road.
So, you join us out on the open roads, and not just any roads, Ben has kindly found us some stunning mountain roads. So, well, first of all, this is Ben, one Hello. of the technicians at Hemmels. Do you want to give us a quick run through of your job role uh, at Hemmels? Yeah, so I'm responsible for the final build of the cars. Yep. Um, basically, we get a, a painted shell in and then we start to assemble all the parts onto the car to the point where we can start to road test them, um, ready then to uh, ship out the yep. customers. And although that sounds pretty straightforward, guys, let me assure you uh, the time, the blood, sweat and tears that goes into each car. Because of the nature of the cars themselves, they're classic cars, 50s, 60s cars. I mean, they're, they're never straightforward, are they? No. A lot of people think brand new parts, they go on. But honestly, as I said, the, uh, the workmanship that goes into these cars is just unparalleled. Obviously, we've had the drive up here and um, just going through normal streets and things like that. But this is going to be my first sort of reaction. Now, Ben, you get, to, you get to test drive these cars all the time, so I imagine yeah. you're pretty numb to them by now. But just driving up here, I mean, driving through the streets, not only the attention that this car gets from any generation, any sort of person, petrol head or not, uh, you just make people's day. We've had people waving, we've had people smiling, all sorts. So, but this I'm really looking forward to now because this is sort of a, a GT car almost. The designs will be on mountain roads, things like that, which is exactly what we're about to do here. So let's get out on the road. Song check. much glare from the sun is it is sunset but we couldn't miss the opportunity uh, to drive on these sort of roads and um, wanted to share it with you guys so my first impressions I mean these are what 19 what year are they like what year is this one do you know uh, 1968 1968 car now I don't know about you guys when you when I think of classic car you automatically think of sort of crashy delicate uh, wants to break down you get that feeling from most of them uh, the initial feeling I'm getting with these is, God, they're strong. It, everything feels yeah. solid. I mean, granted, I know they've been restored, but it's still 60s technology and everything like that. I'm so impressed with the ride quality. Yeah, it's, it's from a time where Mercedes overbuilt everything. Absolutely. So, yeah. you know, that you've got that air of quality with them. Yeah. You know, like you were saying about every time you open and close the door, it's got that certain feel Such to it, you know? Such a satisfying sound, and that's, I said, that, that, that sound of quality. But even, I mean, the seats are a bit, <laughs> you go around the corner, the, the base of the seat, because they're spring, am I right in saying they're springs? Yeah, they're sprung loaded and foam on top. Yeah, so it, it almost, get the, the initial feeling, it wants to throw you out of the seat. <laughs> so I imagine driving it, going around the corner, but then, like I always say, cars like this, they're not meant to be thrown around roads like this. I mean, you just want to cruise. Yeah, and, and that's, cruise. that's the best place this car is, is cruising, yes, you know? I absolutely. Mean, it's not a car to be thrashed about. No. It's just top down, enjoy the sun and on enjoy that like lovely to, noise. Yep, on a day like today, I mean, we've got the sun out, not a cloud in the sky. Beautiful Welsh roads, Welsh mountain roads. I mean, coming up to a hairpin now, this is my idea of a perfect day. And as Ben mentioned, I mean the sounds, we've got a 2.8... Oh. Such a good sound. We've got a 2.8 straight six. Now obviously being a 68, there was no cats, none of that nonsense back then. So you'd get the raw sound. I mean when you're cruising around, you get the nice smooth sound. But when you plant it, the noise, oh it just roars. good sound it really is and it almost like I don't know how to describe it because there's no a lot of modern cars it's all exhaust noise I mean yeah. that is just raw engine noise that, that, is, that's yeah. the uh, that's the sense I get I keep saying it but I want to say a massive thank you to Ben for taking the time this is Ben's personal time 
So a massive thank you to Ben, but I'm sure you're enjoying the, the drive as much as I am. Every time. <laughs> it's, so, just, it's just something about driving uh, a classic car, or, or an old, any older car really, yeah, uh, yeah. that gives you that theatre of driving. I mean, most modern cars these days, you, they just do a job, you know? They, you get in, you yeah. turn the key, it starts every day, it drives you from home to work and back again without any sort of, you know, hassle or worries, but yeah. this is this is an experience every time you turn the key. I like what you said. Modern cars, they do a job, and they do it well, don't get me wrong, but this is not the type of car that you think you have to drive, you've got to go to the shop, you've got to go to it. This is a car you think, I want to drive. I yeah. want to drive my SL on a day like today, on roads like this. Oh, you just can't beat it. And I mean, coming from, I drove it up and down the yard, which, you know, you're never going to experience it fully. How, how does it feel from the, you know, from the driver's seat? I mean, it drives, it's just so nice to drive. It's smooth. Yeah. You know, the gear changes like silk. Yeah. Um, you know, and the, the bits we do with the, the modern upgrades and things, it just adds that, that little extra, yeah. um, you know, sort of touches the... Sort yeah, of, yeah, yeah. As I said, this is just a, such a good example of Hemmels will happily uh, restore you a, a totally original 280 SL. But the thing that I love about it, I'm all about modifying cars, so this is almost modifying the car in the right way, so it, it, Hemmels give you the choice completely original or if you if you are a driver if you want to take your car out and enjoy it then I would highly recommend I mean would you agree yeah I mean these days the way the, like today it's 31 degrees you know yes. and <laughs> that little little bit of aircon we've got even with the roof down such a yes that's making another all thing. the difference the workmanship that goes into these cars the being out today with Ben is helping me understand the, the full the absolute hell's experience and I totally get it Absolutely get it. Final thoughts. What an experience. It is once in a lifetime. One of those cars, no matter where you take it, it makes people's day. I've been in some flashy cars that get a lot of attention. Uh, the attention that this thing got, it was all positive. I mean, we had children smiling, waving. We had grown men smiling and waving. It's not just a car. It is an experience. <sighs> one day, one day I will be back in the showroom on the customer side of it. This car has really, really made an impression on me. Show us some support and let's get that 300 SL out on the road. Drop us a like, comment, subscribe, guys. I could talk all day about this, but I will leave you guys to it. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.